In the battle against the COVID-19 pandemic, roughly 11 million vaccines are given daily. To date, 12 billion doses have been administered globally. And on Tuesday in Manhattan, two inventors behind the technology of this game-changing shot were awarded the Ross Prize in Molecular Medicine by the Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research and Molecular Medicine. It's not me and you, but we agree on that hundreds and thousands of scientists contributed to the uh, result that we have a vaccine. My belief in equity, in getting the science available to the entire world. For decades, these two scientists studied the power of messenger RNA and quickly rose to the occasion when the world was suffering. The duo is honored for pioneering the mRNA technology used in both the Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna COVID vaccines. How do you hope this influences the science community as a whole? Right now, is uh, of course, uh, more money is uh, pouring into the RNA field and the messenger RNA field, and, and uh, not just the uh, uh, academic institution, but of course, you know, the large companies also, they are investing more because uh, the messenger RNA is uh, also somewhat an equalizer. The mRNA is very cheap to make, very quick. For what's next, this team says there's no limit to what can be done with RNA, redefining the future of medicine by tackling other diseases like AIDS and malaria. My lab is making vaccines for HIV for herpes, for malaria, for hepatitis C, for, for many other diseases. We're making vaccines for food allergies, peanut allergies. We're making vaccines for autoimmune diseases. So, you know, th there's just no, no limit to what can be done with RNA. For NBC New York, I'm Linda Gaudino.